quality of state of being self-governing. <laughs> Can a student government really be autonomous from college administration? Westchester Community is a public two-year college located in Valhalla, New York. There are approximately 12,000 college students enrolled. WCC had two student governments, the Student Forum and the Student Senate. Student Forum, especially with the birth of the Student Association. In the fall of 2008, a single unified entity called the Student Government Association was created. By authenticating their role as a union, the first SGA encountered three unexpected challenges. One, the approval of the first unified student budget. We need to have an approved budget. There's no way we're ending this year without an approved budget. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Over $1 million were collected in 2008 and 2009 from mandatory student activity fees. Why wasn't the budget approved earlier? Once it was voted on by the, the budget committee, the FSA, and the student, um, the student body, when it got to um, administration, our president actually, then he then which says by SUNY guidelines, he does get to have the final word. The current budget that was passed at the SUNY Assembly of New York State for all of SUNY, the executive board members get a total of 18,000 plus for stipends, 5,000 plus for the president, and it goes down from there, 4,000 plus for the vice president. So there's a lot of, you know, there's some hypocrisy going out, there's a lot of inequality. 70% of colleges, student government college, student governments in the country receive stipends. People have actually spent money. Yes. Yes, okay. But there's a difference. We need it approved. I need your word. Yeah, well, I need your word. I'll, I'll, I need it. I, I will get I need back it to you. Publicized. I need your word. Okay, I will get back to you. Around March 16th, middle of March, uh, in a meeting with Dr. Hagen and myself, we said, um, let's change the name of the account and the executive board. Instead of executive board stipend, we'll change it to executive board training and awards. And, um, and then we'll use that money towards training, towards different things to that nature, but not directly towards stipends. He agreed, so with that consent, then it was passed. Over 75 different student clubs and organizations use the money from the Student Government Association's budget. But what happens if there is any leftover money? It is revenue that is un unexpended. Mm -hmm. Revenues were higher than expenses. It stays within your, un it re in corporate world, it's called retained earnings. Okay. It's, it's the historical yeah. track record. Who has of control over those yeah, retain retained, retained earnings? The FSA. And what is the FSA doing with those? We, if there's excess cash balances, they're invested. We prefer self-government with danger to servitude in tranquility. The second unexpected challenge was concreting a deal with WCC's administration on travel policies. Trips for all students were grounded by administration because of a recent lawsuit. Students and the SGA fought back and here is what the administration had to say. I will say, I think the administration and me overreacted. So concerned about protecting ourselves from the lawsuit, we didn't take it a step further and, and really realize how it would affect you guys. With that being said, here's the new deal that administration and SGA agreed upon. If anybody, any organization wants to go, just have the advisor check with me, and we'll, we'll get them out. Right now, mm -hmm. are these based on your approvals, or is just letting you know? It's just no, I, I don't approve anything. Okay. I, I'm signing off. That the advisors have been informed of what the procedure is going to be. Okay? No, we're not approving or disapproving any. In order to finish the Constitution, the SGA Executive Board planned an overseas trip and got the request disapproved by Dean Slavin. If, 
if Kevin Slayton says he's not sure, I mean, he, I have great trust in him. I'd like to hear his side of it. We are standing as an autonomous independent organization that never agreed that our trips could be approved or disapproved by administration. This brings us to our last challenge, SGA's autonomy. Uh, now, on the autonomy issue, autonomy doesn't mean total anarchy or freedom from responsibility. We're not trying to have anarchy. Having student leaders stand up for what they think is right and demanding fiduciary accountability, clear travel policies, and the right of being a self-governed entity is not anarchy or freedom without responsibility. It means pure autonomy. Where is our autonomy? What is my purpose? I had this conversation with Jason yesterday. If you're the one who's approving or disapproving trips, and Mitch Crawler's the one who's saying you can use the money or not, and Dean Slevin's saying, in my opinion, this trip goes or doesn't go, then what are we doing here? What is the purpose of student government if their autonomy is not allowed? Every time we talk, it's a different procedure, <laughs> and it's driving me out of my mind. And why does administration have different procedures? We feel like we have come to an understanding, and we feel like we are on the same page with administration. It switches. Mm -hmm. It switches right away. Yeah, and actually, yeah, I, I see that. And I, and I think that administration might be feeling the same way a little bit. So, the administration feels the same way? This is the impression and the message we've been getting from day one. That if it's not okay with the administration, we can't do it. That we can play puppet all we want, we can, you know, we can order as many pizzas as we want, mm -hmm. we can hire the DJ as many times as we want, we can make as many flyers as we want, you know, only it gets within the confines of whatever administration says. Mm -hmm. That, in fact, says that we're a puppet. That, in fact, says that our value is as far as our face, mm -hmm. and that we really have no merit, and our suggestions are not taken seriously or valued. It is very disempowering.